In today's lesson, we are looking at position, velocity, and acceleration of functions. Um, so we're, it's kind of a review, um, going back to unit four, um, but we're going to kind of bring in the idea of integration um, in this concept. So if you remember, um, back in unit four, we started with a position function, s of t, Sometimes you'll see these as x of t, or um, lots of different variables, but let's just use s of t for now. And then the velocity is s prime of t. So that's the same thing as the v of t. And then acceleration is that double prime. So um, first, we would take derivatives to go this direction. So now the idea is same concepts, but we're going to go backwards using integration. And now to review some other things, displacement, speed, total distance. So um, some of this is definitely a review, but then I'm going to also uh, shine a new light on it with integrals. So displacement, you might remember, is the net change of position. So if a particle starts at this point and maybe it goes this direction, but then maybe it turns around and goes this direction. So the displacement is the difference of like where it started and where it ended. And then to bring in an integral, the integral of velocity can help you find displacement. Okay, now speed, I'm bringing this in just so we don't confuse what I'm gonna write for total distance. So speed, if you remember, is the absolute value of velocity. Velocity has direction, speed does not. And then total distance in the realm of integrals, it would be the integral of the absolute value of velocity. So kind of bringing this up um, so that you don't confuse it with this. So I'm just going to do two examples, really focusing on this first part. We're, I'm not going to um, go into great detail in the video of these, but in our practice, we will definitely bring these up again as we review all these concepts. Okay, so here's our first example. We have a velocity function, and then we also have this other piece of information over here that at time one second, the position is eight meters. So the idea is, okay, if I start with velocity, can I find the acceleration function and the position function? So that is going to involve us going two different directions. So velocity is kind of that middle one. To go to acceleration, we have to think derivative. But to go to position that's going backwards, we have to think integral. Okay, so let's take the derivative of this function here. I'm going to rewrite that as t to the power of negative 1. So v prime of t, which is the same as the acceleration of t. So if I do power rule, negative 1 t to the bring your power down 1, negative 2, minus bring that power down so it's 2 thirds t and then the constant 2 cancels out. So I can also rewrite this as negative 1 over t squared minus 2 thirds t. So that was easy enough, just one derivative, and I have the acceleration function. But now position, I will be taking the integral of the velocity function to find the position function. So now we have to think antiderivative. So 1 over t, that is um, the natural log of the absolute value of t. And then minus, I'm going to go up a power, and then divide by that power. So I already have 3, and then I'm dividing by 3 again, 
and then plus 2t plus c. Now, to find the function, I need to find c. So that's where we can go back and use this information here, and we can plug in, this is essentially your y and your x that you'll be plugging in to find your c. Okay, so it was 8 meters, that was the y. Natural log of t is 1, minus 1 to the third over 9, plus 2 times 1, plus c. Let's solve for c. So 8 equals 0 minus 1 ninth plus 2 plus c. Uh, then I will have 8 equals, that would be 1 and 8 ninths, which is 17 ninths. So when I subtract that over, we will get that c equals 55 ninths. So to write the official position function, it is the natural log of absolute value of t minus t to the third over 9 plus 2t plus the c, which is 55 ninths. And here is our second example. So what you're given is an acceleration function of just 24t. And then you're given some additional information. So the velocity at t equals 1 is negative 36 centimeters per second. And then the position at t equals 1 is negative 5 centimeters. And our goal is to find the position when the velocity equals 0. So first thing we need to do is if we have an acceleration function, we need to find velocity function and position function. So the velocity function will be equal to the integral of the acceleration function. So let's do the antiderivative here, 24t squared over 2 plus c. And then if we want to find that c, we have to look at this information. Think of this as your x and your y. We can plug in. So I have negative 36 equals, I'm going to change that to 12t squared. Whoops, I need to plug in for t. So plugging in 1 for t plus c. So I've got 12, subtract 12, so c equals negative 48. So then that acceleration function is... 12t squared minus 48. Okay, so now let's find that position function, which means we're going to take the integral of our velocity function. Okay, so now antiderivative here, that will be 12t to the third over 3 minus... 48t plus c. And then up here we've got our essentially our x and our y that we can plug in to find c. So negative negative 5 equals 4t squared. Oh, I always forget. I got to plug in 1 for t. So 1 up to the third minus 48 times 1 plus c. So you should get that c equals 39. So the position function is 4t to the third minus 48t plus 39. Okay, so we found these functions, but what is the question? It says find the position when the velocity equals zero. We don't know when the velocity equals zero, so let's find that. Here's the velocity function. Let's find when it equals zero. So zero equals, um, I'm gonna factor that. So take a 12 out, so I'm left with t squared minus four. 
And then that would go to t plus 2 and t minus 2. So I've got solutions at negative 2 and positive 2. Um, but we're dealing with time, so I want this right here. Okay, so at time 2 seconds is when the velocity is 0. They're asking you what's the position. So we now have to plug in 2 into the position function. S of 2, plug it in. And you should get that the position at 2 seconds is negative 25 centimeters. So that was a lot to keep track of. Let's go back up. Started with acceleration. But we have this additional information that helps us find our c's. You get your position functions. We had to find the specific time and plug that time into our position function. So there's the full lesson. We're going to have all different kinds of questions, but this is just kind of um, giving you, going back to that idea of converting between those different functions. Good luck with your lesson.